Recently, a viewer posted this comment to one of my videos. How is it that psychology has made no major benefits to society in the last hundred years? Well, I want to thank this viewer for a great idea for a video. It's an interesting question, but I disagree with its premise. You see, I believe that psychology has produced many major benefits for society in the past century. Perhaps viewers like this one are just not aware of the important role of the science of psychology in so many aspects of our lives. In this video, I'm going to briefly mention 30 benefits of psychology, but I'm sure I could list many, many more. I'm Eric Fanman, an associate professor of psychology and a social neuroscientist at the University of Queensland in Australia. Let's start with a straightforward, fun example. Elite athletes face immense pressure. Sports psychologists help them harness the mind by using visualization techniques, optimizing performance, and managing competition stress. Stress is, in fact, a modern plague that affects all of us. Psychologists offer research-based techniques from deep breathing exercises to the power of music listening to the practice of mindfulness, making life manageable and easier on our physical health as well. Some stresses are unimaginable until they occur. After natural and civil disasters, communities are shattered. Psychologists step in, helping people and communities cope with traumas, disasters, and crises like they did after 9-11 or when weather events have destroyed entire towns. Delving into the criminal psyche isn't fiction. Psychologists assist investigations, ensuring fair testimonies and providing insights into criminal behavior. In family disputes, psychologists assess children's well-being, ensuring any decisions prioritize the child's mental and emotional health over everyone else's involved. What's behind the irresistible pull of a sale? Psychologists dissect and study consumer behavior, informing business strategies for effective marketing. Psychology has developed therapies and other techniques for autism, supporting not just the individuals, but families, evolving education, and care. Battling mental health challenges? Cognitive behavioral therapy, a psychology breakthrough since the 1970s, offers practical tools for transformation and, in certain contexts, has extremely high rates of success. Notice less motivation in group tasks? Research on social loafing has provided insights to reshape team strategies, maximizing collective productivity. In the last 40 years, researchers like Elizabeth Loftus have shown us that memory is malleable. Psychology research has led to refining questioning techniques, ensuring testimonies remain untainted and accurate. For those with some kinds of brain injuries, whether from a stroke or a traumatic accident, language restoration becomes possible through insights we have gained from neurology and psychology. Do you happen to know some impulsive teenagers? Psychology deciphers adolescent brain development, explaining the thrill-seeking phase and helping form age-dependent policies about you know, when adolescents should be allowed to drive or drink alcohol. Groupthink, where group members promote their leader's beliefs even when they privately disagree with the leader, can stunt creativity. Psychological insights into groupthink help organizations foster individual voices, encouraging innovative ideas. Ever wonder why some flavors pop and others are complete duds? You know, like Vegemite and chocolate? Really? Psychology research on food perception merges taste and smell, revealing knowledge about our rich sensory experiences. Around 60% of people report having sleep problems at some time in their life. Psychological research illuminates disorders, dreams, and the profound impact of quality rest. 
Addiction's grip is fierce. Thanks to psychology, treatment pathways based on science-based interventions guide countless people towards recovery. The human journey is profound. Developmental psychology maps our cognitive, emotional, and social evolution and has given us so many insights into the full span of human development. Is your workplace enjoyable? Are the people around you productive? Psychologists design environments to maximize comfort, efficiency, and motivation by focusing on the best incentives, work policies, and leadership styles. Iconic campaigns and public messages often stem from understanding human attitudes and how they shift. From ads for buying face cream to messages to keep the troops fighting in World War II, psychologists have been at the forefront of the best ways to persuade people. Some people suffer from profound fears of spiders, snakes, dogs, heights, and flying, for example. These fears may seriously interfere with the person being able to have a happy, fulfilling life. With interventions developed by psychologists, confronting fears becomes achievable. Desensitization and other therapies transform phobia sufferers into conquerors. Immersive 3D experiences owe their success to psychologists who study how we see depth and hear in stereo. Those VR glasses couldn't have been built without an understanding of how our brain puts together our images of the world. Want to make a successful deal? Well, it's more than luck. Psychologists teach us that instead of sticking to fixed positions, we should reframe our negotiations around shared interests and mutual problem solving. This approach can lead to a more creative and mutually beneficial solution. Harmonizing diverse groups becomes possible with strategies like the Jigsaw Classroom and the Common Identity Model, which were developed by social psychologists decades ago. Psychology bridges divides, promoting unity. Relationships face storms. Counselors and therapists in psychology can equip couples with effective interpersonal tools, guiding them towards sunny days. Ever marvel at product comfort? Think psychology for understanding human needs and helping engineers design accordingly. One psychologist, Lillian Gilbreth, invented the modern kitchen, the foot-controlled garbage can, and redesigned the airplane cockpit with Amelia Earhart. Have you ever recognized a friend amidst a crowd? We know from studies of the fusiform face area and the amygdala, for example, how this happens. And that research, in turn, can help people who have suffered certain strokes or other brain lesions that make it difficult for them to recognize their loved ones. Want to overcome a harmful habit like smoking a cigarette or eating poorly? Behavior modification strategies empower individuals towards healthier choices. Education is an evolving field. Since the early 20th century, psychologists have worked with teachers to develop effective strategies by continuously redefining teaching and learning methods. Research in the 1960s by John Darley and Bib Latine after the murder of Kitty Genovese revealed that people are less likely to offer help in emergencies when others are present. This has led to campaigns and training to counteract the bystander effect. Raising awareness of the effect prompts intervention, ensuring help when needed. Kenneth and Mamie Clark's 1940 doll study showed that African-American children living in segregated areas suffered from negative self-concepts. This study was cited in the 1954 Brown versus Board of Education decision that led to the desegregation of U.S. schools. Did I leave out something that you think is an example of how psychology has made a positive contribution? I'd love to hear from you, so please leave a comment below. And please place an apple emoji somewhere in your comment so I know that you made it this far before commenting. If you're interested in what makes psychology a science, you might check out this video 
I made about why Freud is not considered scientific by psychologists these days. Until next time, stay curious. Bye.